What is up guys, Ian here from Cool Career Today, taking the mindset of lack to a mindset of abundance. Anyway, I just wanna talk about this, this money time ratio and how that affects us every single day and every, everything we do. So this concept is something that I just made up. Uh, basically what it does is it looks at how much money you're putting in to something for how much time you're getting out of it. So I feel like a lot of things in our daily lives kind of are like constructed from this idea. How much money are you putting towards something and how much time does it give you back? Or how much time do you put into it to um, enjoy, enjoy yourself or um, build something? But this thing kind of has like control over us because sometimes we can we can get ourselves into things that um, do take up a lot of time and they do kind of um, constrict our freedom. Now, I think the number one step to get the best ratios is to start looking on what you're investing your money in and how you can shift your money and your income in certain things to get you the best possible uh, time back like por portion. So I'm gonna give you a few examples and hopefully you can catch my drift. So let's say that you wanna work out. You wanna start hitting the, the weights and getting pretty swole. However, for you to uh, get a gym membership, the closest one is at least 15 minutes away. So this, uh, this gym is gonna, it's gonna take you 30 minutes of driving any day you wanna go out to hit the gym. So that's 30 minutes that you could do a lot of other things. Now, this gym membership costs about $40 a month, because it's got a sauna. Don't forget about the sauna. Now, you're spending $40 a month, and let's say you go five times a week. Now, that half an hour is multiplied by 20. So you're looking at about 600 minutes wasted because your money is going towards something that is, uh, is kinda like time cost effective. It, it's not the best, it's not the worst, but it's still taking up a lot of your time. Now, let's say that instead of wasting that time and that, and that proportion amount of money, you spend that on a home gym. Now, the uh, amount of time going to the gym is just destroyed. It's completely gone. However, um, you don't get the benefits of a sauna. And uh, in the long run, you potentially do save a lot more money because your $40 a month uh, goes into about $480 a year and if you spend that on a nice weight uh, bench you could save hundreds of dollars. So these are the cost effective um, ratios that I'm trying to put in my mind. Would I rather spend my time and my money on this thing or should I invest that money into something else like a home gym investment so I can have freedom to work out and um, complete ownership. So what is, what is this time slash money proportion really gonna affect us in? Well, it's gonna affect us in uh, time management. It's also gonna affect us in uh, just deeper things as in uh, 
that you're not going to be able to do everything that you can do at a gym, but you're also not going to be able to do everything at um, your own gym. So they both have their pros and cons, but the thing is, is how is this going to affect you? Well, that's a good question. How is it going to affect you? These are things that you need to think out very thoroughly to really understand where your money should be going and where it is going and how can we shift where it is to where it should be. And that's the whole process of this um, investing your money and your time more like appropriately. That's why we're trying to become more mindful of where we're spending our money and what is taking them up the most amount of time. Because if we can adjust those things and change them into something that's gonna get the most money for the least amount of time, then we're gonna be able to be very, very efficient in um, our day-to-day -day lives. And in doing so, we're gonna have more freedom to be able to spend with the people that we love and to do the things that we love to do. So I hope you guys took something from this video. Um, this is a new concept that I just created right before this video, this time, money, proportion, um, slash investments. So go ahead and think about what you're spending your money on and how you can become a little more cost effective with your time and your wallet. So <laughs> have a beautiful day guys and I'll catch you later. See ya.